Hey, this is Pastor Frank. One of the great glories of the New Testament is that we have been given a new name, a new identity. We were known before Christ as sinners, as the lost, as rebels. But in the New Testament, the glory of what Christ has done for us is so wonderful that it, it has to have multifaceted identities. The number one, of course, I think that the New Testament people talk about is that we are now saints, but we're also called ambassadors. We're called the living letters of God. We're called the children of God, the sons of God. We're called soldiers, we're called farmers, and the list could go on and on. And those are all wonderful new identities by which to identify ourselves and claim that we are made brand new. But in my own heart of hearts, I think there's one name that is above all the other names, one handle, one identity, that's greater than all the others. It's found written mostly by the Apostle John, which I think is insightful. He's known as the disciple that Jesus loved. And the idea behind that is not that Jesus loved him especially, but that John marveled and was stunned and never got over the fact that he was loved by God. And that's in fact the name that I want to share with you. Throughout the first epistle of John, John calls us beloved, agapetoi. What that literally means is those loved by God. You see, that's the supreme identity because all those other identities are birthed out of his love. It's because he loved us that he made us saints. It's because he loved us that he made us his ambassadors. It's because he loved us that he adopted us into his family as his own children. We are the beloved of God. 1 John 4 says, this was man, excuse me, 1 John 3 says, this was manifested to us in that he died for us. He stretched out his arms and he said, I love you this much. Hold your head high in this dark world. You are the beloved of God.